Bridge causality can be used in forecasting. Hence, in today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can run Bridge causality in Starter. Normally, when working with time series data, the first thing is to set your time variable. This is what I am doing. So I have set, well, I have set my time variable. Then now we can go to the greater causality test. And in this tutorial, we are going to assume that our data set is is stationary, and we are going to use an optimal lag of two. So the first step now is to run a var analysis. And for the var analysis, go to statistics, then to multivariate time series, then vector auto regression. Here now we select our variables, both the variables that we are using, and in this variable, this tutorial we are going to use the the natural log of exports, the natural log of GDP. So we are trying to see if there is greater causality between exports and and GDP or we want to see if exports greater cause GDP or GDP greater cause exports. So we select the natural log of exports and the natural log of GDP. Then we are going to, to leave the lag or the optimal lag as 2. So then we click Okay. See, we are generating the results, and these are the results for the var analysis. You can see from the results that the first lag of GDP is statistically significant, and the second lag of GDP is also statistically significant. That is for the equation where exports is the dependent variable. For the equation where GDP is is the dependent variable, you can see that the first lag of exports is statistically significant, and also the first lag of GDP and the second lag of GDP. So we can see that there are some lags, or there are some lags that are individually statistically significant. Therefore, now we go to the next step, which is now to run the greater causality test. For the greater causality test, go to statistics, then to multivariate time series, and then to var diagnostic test, and select greater causality test. Here now we click OK. Here are the results for the greater causality. You can see that for the equation where uh, exports is the dependent variable, we find significant values. Therefore, we can say that GDP greater causes exports. However, for the equation where GDP is the is the dependent variable, you can see that our p value is greater than zero point zero five. Therefore, we are not going to reject the null hypothesis that exports does not greater cost GDP. So we can conclude from our results here that GDP greater causes exports, but not exports greater causes GDP. Since the p-value for GDP where exports is dependent variable is significant. So that is the, the simple steps that you can take to run the greater causality test. And I hope that you have found some useful information in this tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And also you can share this video. And also please like this video.